Hello everyone, this is Fundi Kipusa and this is a tutorial for members only. As you can see, we have collected drums here. Uh, all sorts of, this time we got drums from a soap factory. So the whole workshop smells like perfume. Uh, but no concern, this is the nice, you all know her, our now trained urban farmer. And here we have the first pot already on the table. You can see the cuts we have made. Yeah? The nice had marked them out earlier, so there are approximately 80 cuts, 80 cuts in the drum. Yeah? Down here in the drum, in the lower part, we keep a reservoir of 25 centimeters. That is uh, to store water, nutrients and also to uh, allow oxygen and help a little bit with evaporative cooling in hot areas. So this is the basic drum. Interesting also for future iPod manufacturers and urban farmers uh, to see now how big our stock is already in iPods that we have to have ready uh, to market. Uh, we're getting orders on a daily basis. It's a very nice business. I uh, highly recommend local fundies or people who have nothing better to do and I believe there's quite a few. Guys, join us and we show you how you can get into the trade of urban farming. So, Denise is now starting our kerosene torch. We are using a kerosene torch over a hot blow air gun because in Kenya here with electricity that's all a problem in itself. Uh, besides that, since our product has to apply to everyone, anywhere in the world, uh, an old kerosene light like this one here, Aladdin's Wonderland, that one you get everywhere. So all our pots are made in a way that you can easy copy in a school in Bangladesh, in a school in Mozambique, or in a very fancy school in London for that matter. So, now we are heating up the torch and then we are going to show you again how to make a pocket and how to arrange your iPod, including the growing media. See you in a sec. Wait, wait, no. My reservoir measures 20 centimeters. The length. Okay, it measures 25 centimeters, yeah? 25 centimeters. And the pocket is 20 centimeters wide. So each pocket, each slot yeah. that we cut is approximately 10 centimeters wide, yeah? Yeah. And also 10 centimeters from the other one. So they are spaced out 10 centimeters, a little bit zigzag, not too perfect, guys. You can do it very perfect, but not really necessary, since the plants you grow in there do not really care, yeah? That is very important to understand. The plants that you grow in there do not care where your drum came from or how your slots are exactly cut. The pocket should alternate with this, the other line for the sake of the leaves. Because when they come vertical, parallel, the leaves will block the others from the line. Yeah, you see, so we want to go in a zigzag down the drum so the young plants actually can uh, find all uh, equal amount of lights. We jo just go to a full iPod right now and I show you at what point it doesn't matter any. So this is the pot fully grown and you will understand why I'm saying the zigzag doesn't matter anymore. These plants, they all find their way to the light. Uh, I have a leaf of kale here the size of a dinner plate. Uh, <laughs> So, here we go. After we have cut the slots with an angle grinder or saw or hot knife, we are now warming the area. Important in this process is that you do not burn the plastic. This is a thermoplast. So if you burn it too much, you destroy it. You also want to avoid any fumes coming up while you do so. And you want to do it in an open air area. Not too much wind so that your heat is not blown away from your torch but enough fresh air so that you do not have to breathe the fumes from burning plastic. 
the whole process of heating a pocket up for starters takes a while once you are going with your drum and the whole drum has a sudden temperature it goes significantly faster you can see now the nice she thinks she reached the temperature where she can squeeze her tool in this is a 50 millimeter pipe that is basically gongered flat on one end and here see now the tool sticking in the pocket and now she has a second tool here right i'm holding that up it's just a piece of pipe and we flattened one end. The other end is still a round pipe. So that can go in here into the pocket. She's now using another place a little bit further away and starts with the same heating process again while this pipe here is resting and the plastic is hardening. So, of course, the nice she made like I don't know how many pots, but 50 at least. So she has an experience. When you start, you uh, will make the one or the other crooked pocket. Do not throw your pot away when it goes wrong. Keep it, because honestly, it will stay, still grow plants. You get faster with time, and your pockets look better with more experience. Again, you see, she reached a point where it's now a thermoplastic, meaning she has reached the temperature where she can shape it in order to get a pocket and in the same time the plastic is not burned. You see, here is even no color change at all. It's quite hot, I just burned my finger. Uh, but that's what it's all about. So, and this is how you go round and round on your drum. If you have any further questions to these plastic pockets, my best advice would be Get a torch, get a drum, cut a slot, and start training. So, here we go. Finally, after you have done all that, pockets, and maybe painted your drum, which is not mandatory. In a commercial setup, I would never do that. Now you can see the drum is completely empty inside. Yeah. So, the first thing that goes in the drum is the spacer bucket. You can see that's an old, old bucket. We always use the oldest, most useless bucket with a hole inside big enough to carry the pipe. Now goes the lid. This is the original lid that we did cut out of the drum before. And it goes on top here in the drum, like that. Lovely. So now you have your reservoir down there protected and you can stick your oxygen and feeder pipe in. This is a normal 150 millimeter diameter, seven inch how they call it, or six inch it is, yeah? Six or seven, whatever, a big plastic pipe from the hardware store or building site alternatively, or you can also make it from old small jerrycans, yeah? So that goes now in the drum. Down there in the hole, and that is the basic construction for the iPod. Now you will fill some charcoal material in the bottom as a filter material. And then you start building up nicely. Here we have the coconut fiber at the coast. We have other growing media. It's based on manure and uh, so, uh, wood shavings. But for us here at the coast, the coconut husk are actually ideal together with our special grow media that we show you in another tutorial it makes this uh, super plants that i've just shown you on the other pot on top goes the feeder now and the feeder is an interesting device it's a pot with slots at the bottom and she has inserted synthetic stripes uh, from the mitumba uh, t-shirts and stuff cut it yeah and that goes on top of the pipe and now the pieces of cloth are actually dug into the grow media. So what you do on a daily basis, you fill the top of your bucket with the water that circulates in your drum and your wicks that are connected to the bucket now distribute the moisture equally to the plants. And here you go. That is how to build an iPod. The next tutorial with the nice and me will be about how to make the fertilizers and the pesticides in an organic, cheap way 
that saves you lots of money and makes you better, healthier food. Thank you.